Alright guys, it is an unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous. I do mean over the top beautiful. It is a 68 degree day. 68 degree Friday, July 30th, 2021. Uh, unbelievably gorgeous. Heading to 45 tonight. There's some uh I keep hearing some rumors about some damn, uh, I don't know, some damn heat wave, some sort of wildfire smoke, some floods here and there, here in the Finger Lakes of New York, baby. It is an absolute gorgeous, unbelievable day, and uh, I am racing back from leaving my friend off at the Syracuse airport to uh, welcome a bunch of hip campers coming in for the weekend. We got a bunch of hip campers. So in order to do this, uh, I am sort of flaking out on my buddy Popeye, who I had made hoping to get together with Popeye in Syracuse, but I had forgotten that Friday afternoon, the, the one afternoon where I need to be at Bugs in a Jar every week. It tends to be Friday when the hip campers arrive. So, uh, you know, I made plans with Popeye a few days ago to meet up here, and then I remembered that good guy in Hammond, you gotta be back at Bugs in a Jar on Friday afternoon to uh, <coughs> welcome the hip campers. So, uh, that is just one of the many reasons I have been thinking about flakes. So I don't know if this is a whine, is this a depressed collapse of Terry and White, or is it a rant? I've been thinking a lot about fucking flakes this week, uh, and all of the varieties of flakes. And so I'm just sitting there trying to figure out, am I a flake? And number one, or is just everyone that I encounter flakes? And this is why I guess I'm gonna name this rant <clears throat> why I am always disappointed but seldom surprised that it has gotten to the point, try, you know, just trying to make plans with people, just, just, just fucking trying to get together with friends. Uh, the the percentage of times that you make plans with somebody and they just fucking flake out on you, just fucking flake out on you, and I don't like to think that I'm as guilty of it as most people. I I've told this story before, but I, it bears repeating for this rant that I am proud of not being a flake and. Uh, <clears throat> So it was back in 1992, uh, I made plans. My friends from Mendocino, California <clears throat> wanted to come visit me in Costa Rica. This was the days before cell phones and emails existed in Costa Rica. So when I passed through their house in November of 1991, Okay, November of 1991, they made their plane reservations. And as I was passing through for February uh, of 1992, so they made their plane reservations. And in November of 1991, I made plans with them. And I said, guys, don't worry. I will pick you up at the Costa Rican airport you know, at whatever, three o'clock in the afternoon on Tuesday, February 12th, uh, 1992, or whatever uh, it is, and I rolled away in a 1978 Toyota Corolla that I had paid $150 for, heading to Costa Rica and telling my friends who were notorious flakes. Uh, they, these guys, uh, Lucy and Ricky, are notorious flakes, flaking out on me. Uh, how many fucking times had these people disappointed me and flaked out on me at the last minute? And uh, so, 
I remember going to meet them at the airport, so I had no contact with them, no, no contact from November to February, and uh, I went to meet them at the airport, and Lucy was absolutely flabbergasted to see me standing there. She had been telling Ricky, you know, as they were circling the airport, that there is no way that Hambone is going to be there to meet us. That we haven't heard from the fucker in three months. And Ricky said, you know, Lucy, darling, if it was any other human being on this planet other than Hambone Littletail, I would agree with you that there is no fucking way that they're going to be at this side uh, at, at, to meet us, uh, to meet our airplane. But uh, this is Hambone we're talking about. And when Hambone uh, makes a plan with you and says, I am going, you know, just like the plan that I just talked about, he will be there. Hambone will be there. And so Ricky was not one bit surprised to see me there. And Lucy was absolutely fucking flabbergasted. I guess because Lucy is a notorious flake. And uh, th this whole notion of flakes, what is the definition of a fucking flake? Y you know, things come up in people's lives. As Don Juan says, uh, a warrior reserves the right to change their mind. It's a fucking free country. So people reserve the right to change their minds and the whole concept, I mean flakiness, it has so many different little uh, ingredients in it. When is somebody just a fucking flake? Just a fucking flake. An inexcusable fucking flake. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking at the range of flakes. So flakes, they range anywhere for what I've decided uh, I will call the uh, <clears throat> Mr. Uh, you know, nobody man. Remember that old Beatles song? He's a real nobody man uh, making all his nobody plans for nobody. I mean, we're all, isn't he a bit like you and me? Yeah, we're all nobody people. We're walking around talking this shit, just coming out of our mouths uh, all fucking day long about all of these plans we're going to make, all of these nebulous fucking things that we're going to do uh, with our lives, uh, all of these great plans that we're going to make. You know, it's kind of like the fucking Green New Deal, saving the planet. I mean, just people, you know, just people talking out their asses. You do it, I do it, we all do it. It's part of being human. Uh, talking out our asses, just making these general nebulous plans that we have exactly zero fucking intention of ever seeing through. So those, are, is that a flake? I don't consider people doing that being flakes because you have to have a some level of commitment with another human being. You need to, you know, to make your future plans meet up with another person's future plans. Okay? And then when you hit that threshold, when you're talking out your ass meets up with someone else talking out of their asses. Then you make some sort of a contract. You make an agreement, a promise, whatever, uh, that you and this other person are going to meet up at a certain date in the future for a certain activity. But it mainly, you know, you make a, an agreement with somebody, and so it's usually a friend of yours. I'm, I'm talking here not so much business uh, as, as friends. So there's some level of, of attachment 
between you. On some level, you know this person. You're looking forward to getting together with them because you enjoy this person's company or it's somebody you would like to get to know better. Whatever, you make your agreement to get together. Uh, and that's when you start getting flakes. So on one end, you have the, the Mr. The, the, the nobody man talking out their asses. I'm not talking about them. And then, of course, on the other end of the flake stream, uh, on the radical <coughs> other opposite end of the flake spectrum, you have Dulcinea. Okay, you have a borderline personality, someone who is so above and beyond a fucking flake that you can't even attribute it to, to flakiness. It's a fucking personality disorder. You know, when you, when you make plans with somebody to spend the rest of your life with them, when you make a promise to somebody that here in the near future, we're going to get together and I am going to be your doomer chick forever till the day I die, and then you just ghost them. You go from spending your, uh, the rest of your entire life together to, net, to disappearing off the face of the fucking earth with no explanation whatsoever. That is so far out of the realm of being a, you know, just your borderline, uh, just, just, well, not your borderline, just, just your flake into being a borderline personality. It is a personality defect when you get that, when you get to the Dulcinea level. So I'm not talking about borderline personalities. They, in, in some ways, get a pass because they have some deeply ingrained personality disorder. I'm t you know who the fuck I'm talking about. I'm talking about everyone in between. Every fucking person in between who, for whatever reason, uh, goes around making plans with somebody uh, and, and then just, just fucking flaking out of them. And flaking out and, and canceling uh, their plans with the shoddiest of excuses. So, again, you know, there's, there's different elements here. Like um, my, my buddy JJ, for instance. Okay, uh, JJ will, will not mind me using him as an example. So, yesterday, for the very first time yesterday, uh, I said to uh, Brother JJ, Hey, hey, brother, I'm going to, this is talking about tonight, I'm going to this brewery uh, to check out this band and have a couple of beers and enjoy this beautiful evening while I still can. Do you want to meet me for a drink and listen to some music? So he, yesterday at 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. on fucking Thursday, JJ emails and says, yeah, count me in. I will see you there at the brewery. And then at 10 o'clock this morning, I get an email from, uh, from, from uh, Brother JJ saying, on second thought, Hambone, I'm going to take your advice to get out there, enjoy it while I still can. And uh, I'm flying to Amsterdam. I've decided to go to Amsterdam, Holland, and I'm flying out today when the Mushroom Kingdom calls, you must answer. So, okay, so uh, I, I promised JJ that this rant was not about him. But, but what JJ, but he's, uh, okay, so this is an example. So JJ is someone who essentially lives in the same town with me. You know, we've gotten together several times. We are uh, probably going to get together a few more times this summer, whatnot. It was meeting me, you know, meeting a buddy for a drink uh, and listening to a few songs. You know what I'm saying. Just getting together as much as I would have enjoyed having JJ's company. And he had a pretty good excuse that he's flying to, uh, to Amsterdam. And so we made plans 
uh, one day in the very next morning he changed his mind for a very good reason so is JJ a flake uh, well he is but it but it but it's not you know it's not that big of a deal so it, it's just like me with, with with my with my buddy uh, up in Syracuse with Popeye that I wanted to uh, get together with him and I was looking forward to it when I made the plans with him uh, when was it three days ago uh, I was totally spacing out that we were talking about Friday afternoon and I had already made plans with these hip campers, you know, and I need to be there to welcome these people to Bugs in a Jar Farm. So I was flaking out on them, and so to keep my commitment, I had to eat some crow and apologize to Popeye. And uh, so sometimes this happens, as guilty as I feel, I'm not going to be too hard on myself because I think that I had, uh, a, you know, a pretty good excuse. Now, Dulcinea, who is listening to this rant, I, I assure you, Dulcinea is hearing every every bit of this uh, bit of this rant that I'm having, and, and I'm sure she is slamming the bullshit whistle. Okay, guys. I am being accused by Dulcinea of being a serious fucking flake. So, I saw Dulcinea in October. Okay, in October, she and I got together uh, for one day. Then I did not hear a peep out of that woman. Not a peep. Not a phone call. Not an email. Not a comment on either my any of my channels. Then in March. I just got a phone call from Dulcinea, you know, just talking shit like a nowhere man, you know, and just making sure, she just wanted to make sure uh, that I was going to stop and see her on my way back to New York. She just making sure that we still have plans that you are going to stop and see me uh, in Pennsylvania. And uh, so I told her in March that, sure, darling, uh, of course, uh, we're going to see each other. I said, you know where to find me. And that was in March, and then there was no more communication between us. Not one fucking phone call, not one email, nothing. Absolute stone fucking silence for over two months. And, uh, you know, she knew uh, from my videos that I was heading her way, not one fucking, so anything, I was still planning to see her, but if you remember, which I haven't talked about that much, that all of this shit blew up down there in Florida where I got raided by the goddamn cops and, um, you know, my hip camp was shut down. And I was, I was dealing with all of this fucking legal shit going down there in Florida that I had to get up here to New York and deal with uh, just out of the fucking blue. Uh, I, you know, all of that shit blew up. I, I was literally going, you know, to track down Dulcinea uh, that very day you know, to, to, to confirm our date, and all of that shit blew up, and so I said, well, fuck it, I haven't heard one word from her, I told her back in March, we made some nebulous plan that I was going to stop by and see her in Pennsylvania uh, on my way back to New York, and something came up at the last minute, uh, a, a, a fucking uh, police raid came up at the last minute, we had no fucking uh, firm commitment to see each other and so now so of course when when she found out I was back in New York and hadn't stopped to visit her in Pennsylvania she's fucking furious at me calling me a fucking flake uh, you know right before she promises to uh, come up here and and be my doomer chick forever 
and, and then ghosting me and never speaking to me again. Uh, so anyway, uh, am I a flake? Okay, I was a little bit guiltier. I should have, in the middle of all that police raid, remembered to get a message through to Dulcinea. Darling, uh, I am in some fucking and a sticky wicket, and uh, I can't take all of this time out of my schedule so you and I uh, can uh, talk about masks or whatever we were going to do when we saw each other. Uh, so now this bullshit that happened this week, and again, I, I will just call this woman Lulu. Uh, so Lulu, uh, see, I made plans with Lulu to get together. Lulu's another Doomer chick that I've never met. So she had plans to come up here uh, to Bugs in a Jar, uh, to come up here and spend, I think it was close to a week, she was going to come. This was going to be her summer vacation. Uh, she, you know, she made all of these fucking plans, uh, put down a lot of money, which, uh, you know, towards Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, you know, put down a deposit on all of this money, uh, reserving the uh, USS Maggie May, uh, you know, my little camper, all of this shit. Uh, everything uh, <clears throat> so I had an entire week blocked out of my life uh, I was really looking forward to her visit this woman obviously what was not a flibberty gibbet you know uh, we we've, we've emailed a lot we've spoken on the phone she is obviously a together you know what I'm saying no indication from this woman on any fucking level that she's a flake and so take a guess what what happens uh, just out of the fucking blue uh, a, a couple of days ago I get a note from hip camp that uh, Lulu has canceled uh, the reservation on the Maggie May and so I, I, I saw that and so I thought that maybe she just wanted to go camping and I, I didn't know what was going on so uh, I, you know, when I, you know, judging the person and the level of commitment and whatnot, just no clue this woman was a flake. So I said, obviously, this woman, uh, for her to, uh, to flake out on me like this, clearly she has uh, an excuse. So then, you know, when, you, when someone first flakes out on you, you don't know whether to be pissed off or worried about them so I you know I emailed her and I said darn what's going on I see that you uh, apparently she had emailed me and I missed the email uh, you know letting me know that she had flaked out on me at least but I hadn't read that email so I, I was concerned that you know that either she but most likely a medical problem was was she having a medical problem was she having a family emergency some sort of work related emergency so you, you know you're uh, I was thinking you know for her to do this this has to be something serious and and so you know I emailed her like darling you know I and I started out uh, Lulu I am not surprised but I am disappointed you know that I wasn't surprised that she had flaked out on me but I was disappointed and I and so I needed to you know I, I said what's going on is everything okay with you and then I wanted to make sure that it was nothing I had done because you know so often people make plans with me especially doomer chicks uh, you, you know they make plans to get together with me and I don't know and then and then I call women bitches and cunts or something like that and, and one of my rants and they get their little doomer chick panties in a wall you know so I wanted to make sure that I had had I done anything had the fictional character Hambone Littletail done anything to insult or offend her 
and then it would have been my fault. So it would, did, did she have a valid excuse, so I, uh, including the valid excuse that I had pissed her off? So I sent her this email, and no, none of that, Hambone. Uh, you haven't pissed me off or, or anything else that she told me, I guess, when she made those plans, uh, when was it, six or seven weeks ago, that Mercury was in retrograde. She made her, her plans to come see me when Mercury was in retrograde. And she said, that is my story and I'm sticking to it. That was her reason uh, a a after, uh, a a after making these plans and this agreement and whatnot. Her reasoning uh, for fucking flaking out on me uh, was that Mercury was in retrograde. That's her story, and she's sticking to it. And at that point, uh, I sent her one of my famous bridge burning uh, emails pointing out no, lady, uh, your decision to flake out uh, on me has nothing to do with Mercury or any other fucking planet. It has everything to do with the fact that you are a cheapskate, flaky bitch, just like all the other fucking flakes out there that uh, keep me constantly uh, disappointed and rarely surprised. And, and it really has gotten to the point. It really has gotten to the fucking point uh, that I am surprised when I am not disappointed that the, the entire bar of humanity has, has been laid so fucking low, it is so low now what we have turned into that, that our fucking words to each other mean nothing. Promises mean nothing. Uh, plans mean nothing. I, I am absolutely shocked uh, when someone actually uh, does what they what they're fucking tell me uh, they're they're going to do. I, I I'm literally flabbergasted when uh, when someone makes a fucking plan with me and actually follows through on it. And uh, I do want to send out a nod to uh, tribes members Warren and Kevin. War brothers Warren and Kevin for actually keeping their uh, keeping their uh, commitments and not being a flake. So so far this summer, uh, Kevin and, and you know I'm talking about people who who don't live in New York, uh, who actually made plans to uh, come in from out of state, and I don't know how many fucking people who live out of state, how many tribes members just basically being a, uh, a, a Mr. And how many tribes members, you know, living outside of the state uh, have told me they're going to come visit me. Oh yeah, and of course my uh, friend who I just took back to the airport coming in from Austin. So three people have not been flakes. And Warren, I am not, uh, I, I am not accusing you of being a flake. For flaking out on your uh, on the two days you were talking about coming back here uh, because you kept your promise that you were coming up here and I really appreciate you keeping your promise and the work you did and Kevin Shanholzer uh, brother you are the you get the non flake of the year award goes to Kevin Shanholzer for actually doing what he said he was going to do, coming up here, and uh, coming up here for how many days, unbelievable uh, how much Kevin Shanholzer helped me out around the place, and Kevin, I want you to know how much I really, really appreciate the help around here, but we are coming back in to bugs in a jar on this gorgeous day. And uh, we have to get out and get ready for the hip campers. Are you ready, little mascot? 
We got hip campers coming in on this outrageously gorgeous, now 66 degree day in paradise. And we'll see if uh, everyone showing up is going to flake out or not. But uh, I guess Lulu, I guess you will not be coming to enjoy bugs in a jar farm. Oh well, so the USS Maggie May will have to, uh, we will have to put somebody else up in the USS Maggie May. I was supposed to have this rented out. Two people wanted to rent out the USS Maggie May uh, this weekend, and I politely told both of them I did not need their kind at Bugs in a Jar Farm. So uh, the USS Maggie May is available. Man, what a gorgeous day. Come see me at Bugs in a Jar, but why don't you just surprise me? Just, just fucking, uh, the, the day before you're planning to come to Bugs in a Jar, uh, send me an email and say, Hambo, and I will see you tomorrow so uh, I don't have to uh, be disappointed in you. Anyway, I'm going to get out there and enjoy this outrageously gorgeous day while I still can and encourage you to do the same. Bye, guys. Mmm. Fine day in paradise around the old home place.